Parliament has sat late into the night to pass the biggest economic rescue package in Australia's history, allowing the government to subsidise the wages of six million workers. Labor pushed for changes to the $130 billion package, but the government rebuffed calls to extend support to more casuals and workers on temporary visas. An historic moment as Parliament signs off on the single biggest economic package since Federation. So the question is that the motion is moved by the Minister be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Against, I believe the ayes have it. Tonight was a Team Australia moment. $130 billion to subsidise the wages of six million workers for six months, the JobKeeper payment of $1,500 a fortnight paid to businesses for each employee kept on the books. With the passage of the JobKeeper legislation, millions of Australian jobs have been saved and millions of Australian families have been given hope. Labor tried and failed to extend the package to an extra one million casuals, arguing school teachers, construction and retail workers will miss out because they haven't been linked to one employer for a year. The bottom line is that no worker should be left behind. The Australians who find themselves out of work have the opportunity to apply for the significantly boosted job seeker payment. Centre Alliance also failing to boost support for migrant workers on temporary visas. They are in limbo. They can't work, they can't go home and their finances are quickly running low. Debate running late into the night, but when all amendments were defeated, the final vote was unanimous. The JobKeeper package is unprecedented in scale and scope and is like nothing this country has ever seen before. More than 700,000 businesses and sole traders have already registered for the wage subsidies. To be eligible, they must have suffered a 30% hit to revenue due to the COVID-19 crisis or a 50% downturn if a company's turnover is more than a billion dollars. We have always said that the line had to be drawn. Once the bill is given royal assent by the Governor-General, wage subsidies will flow from the start of May, with some payments backdated to the 30th of March. Tonight's measures, I think, will go a long way to building that bridge to the recovery phase. Politicians will now head back to their electorates on special RAAF flights, with Parliament not scheduled to sit again until August. In its place, a Senate committee will scrutinise the government's response to the crisis. And help us uh, you know, even make better decisions as we go along. Eliza Edwards, Sky News, Canberra.